All right, friends. Now successfully we have completed two setup installations, that is ReactJS setup and WordPress application setup. Now in this video section, we'll discuss the concept that how to create WordPress dummy post. Now the question is why we need these dummy posts. So remember, we are trying to create a headless application where we have to consume all about the Rust APIs of WordPress. So obviously, we'll have a layout inside our React application where we have to list all the WordPress posts. So here, I am trying to only create some dummy post so that once we call our list post API, so all these posts, what we create inside this topic, all these posts should be listed at the initial level of React application. Before going further, I only request you to please hit the like button to give us a thumbs up to this interesting course and please do subscribe so that I will be creating such type of amazing and interesting courses for you. So to create any post, let's go back to our WordPress application setup. So to create any post, we have to go inside this post menu. So we can see that WordPress by default comes with a default post called Hello World. To create any new post, simply we have to click on this add new post button. So I am pressing control, click on this button. And now we can see that here we have an interface where we have to pass post title, post content and here we have other post values. And one more thing, also we have to include a featured image with each post of WordPress. So what is featured image? Featured image is just like a banner image what basically we have to attach while creating any post. It is not required, it is an optional parameter but I want that all the posts what we create inside this application should be attached with at least a featured image. So if I go into this media section, so I can see that right now we don't have any media images for this WordPress application. But before making this video, I have some dummy images. Let's go inside this folder. So simply to upload all these files, all these images to our WordPress application, we have two options. Either I can click on this add new media file, select all those images from local system and directly upload into this WordPress setup or simply I will select all these images, simply drag and drop it here. Now we can see that all these images successfully uploaded into this WordPress application. Now let's get started to create our dummy post. So first I will create our first dummy post. Let's go here and I will call it as let's say laptop one. So here I have installed a Chrome extension to generate some dummy means dummy content. So I will just copy this dummy content. Let's put it here. Now this is our title, this is our content. Now here, search featured image, I will click on this button and I will select an image from this media library. Let's select this one, click on search featured image. So once we set our featured media image for this post, now let's go for other settings. So here we can see that status equals to draft. Let's click here, choose published from here. Now next, also we have the setting of categories. So right now we can see that inside this WordPress setup, by default it provides uncategorized. So I can create new category either from here or simply from here, categories of this post menu. So I will go here, let's click on this add new category. Let's pass our category name. So I will call it as let's say laptop. Click on this add new category. Now successfully, it has added a new category here. Select this one. Click on publish, publish and now successfully our first post now successfully created inside this WordPress application. So if I go, let's reload. Now instead of draft, now we can see that hello world and laptop one. Now let's create one more post. So here we have the option add new post. Then I will pass the title as laptop to here. Let's go inside this dummy extension. Select this content, just copy, put it here, go inside post, set featured media image, select this one, click here. Then I want that this post should be in published mode and also I want that this post should be inside this laptop category. Click on publish, publish. So successfully, here we have one more post inside our post section. Now next, I will create one more post and that post will be in our draft mode. So simply, let's click on this add new post button and here I will call it as laptop3. I will go into this dummy extension, 
select all this dummy content, pasting it here. This time, I'm not going to set any featured image. Post also should be in draft mode, but I will select only this post category. Click on publish. Publish here. So automatically, WordPress has set this post is in published mode. If I go and reload, and now we can see that it is in published mode. But remember, I want that this post should be in draft mode. So what I will do, either we can click on this edit link or quick edit and here we can see status. Let's go draft here and click on update. So once we do that, let's reload. Now successfully inside this topic, here we have three posts. What we have created, two posts into published mode, which is containing all about the featured media images and third value, third post is in draft mode and also it is not containing any featured media. And one more thing I will do here, let's click on this media menu. So successfully, as we know that here we have three media images. I want one more image and that is called noimage.jpg. So simply I will drag and drop it here. So the concept behind is that if post is not containing any featured media while listing inside our React application, so if featured media image does not exist, so in that case, we'll use a default image of application and that will be called no image available. Otherwise, if post is containing any featured media, so in that case, their respective images should be available. So that's why we have created one post without image and two posts having featured media. Now let's meet to next amazing video. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.